Hi, this is Laura Walker. I want to talk to you about learning to use Gaffrey art material. Uh, doing these little mushrooms is a super great way to learn to work with this material. I didn't have much left of the red, but the way they come is in these cool little, they look like piping bags. So you can just squeeze it onto your surface. I, I'm using scrap wood here. <clears throat> but I did a, a U shape, like an upside down U, a bell shape, squeezing it onto there. And then I took a palette knife and smoothed it. And I'm using kind of a round palette knife that has a good wide surface. If you use a smaller one, you end up with a whole lot of marks in the paint, which I wanted a smoother look in the paint. And then I'm opening up my white, and I'm going to just squeeze underneath the mushroom for the under part and then squeezing out the stem of the mushroom. And then you could take your smaller palette knife and do the little marks, the under mushroom part marks. I'm sorry, I don't know more official words than that. Kind of like fins or something under the mushrooms. And since I was out of red paint, I went ahead and used white uh, for the next two mushrooms. You squeeze the mushroom shapes on there. These, again, with the arches, <clears throat> the bell shape, and smoothing it out, and smoothing out the stem. This is just a real simple way for you to learn to work with the thicker Gaffrey art material. I love these acrylics. Here I'm doing some details with my smaller palette knife. If you leave a fan on the wet paint overnight, it will get hard. And then the next day, you can glaze over it with regular acrylics. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm starting to add a little bit of brown. And I'm just doing it real lightly with one brush. And then I'm getting a clean brush and pulling it upwards just to glaze over and make it a little more interesting. Uh, if you add too much water to the acrylics, it just kind of gets... I don't know, drippy looking on there. So I barely have any water, just a little water on my brush. But using two brushes, one with a little bit of paint and then one clean brush, clean kind of damp brush to spread it. You just have to play with it. Since my background was lighter colored, I needed to add some more to help the contrast and I just, I think it's a cool feature because when, if you paint it with thick oils very much, it's hard to go back and do this. It has to dry forever. So it's really nice that these acrylics can dry so quickly with a fan on them or at least get a skin overnight. Here I'm using a little copper to add some color to those white mushrooms and just glazing over lightly with one brush and then taking my clean brush to spread it. I, I really like doing my shading the next day when everything's dry. I do more complex paintings with animals in them and it's nice to be able just to lay in your main colors one day and come back the next day and glaze over it. Plus you see how it brought out some of the texture and let, let it be more noticeable with the texture. So it's a, it's a fun technique to use with these Gaffrey acrylics. So then I wanted to show some other colors that I made since I was out of red. And here I decided to add some polka dots to the red one. Just using a small um, round brush is what they're called, but they have a point on them and just taking some, you can use just any acrylic paints on top of the Gaffrey or mix in with the Gaffrey acrylics. The point of the Gaffrey is that it's super thick and glossy and smooth straight from the container, those little plastic squeezy tubes. To seal those after you've been using it, you just put a, you just get the paint, uh, you fold it over and put a clip on it. Super easy. See, isn't this cute? 